With the men clinging to a small lead, it's now up to Los Angeles saute chef Matt to try and add to it with his... Dove breast bolognese. Hold on. Uh, bolognese, but the word you said beforehand was... Dove, dove. breast. Yes, chef. As in... Dove. As in the bird. The, the bird, chef. The pigeon. The pigeon. The one that everybody would be scared to cook with. <laughs> um, never even made it before, but... So, let's get this right. I'm your guinea pig. Well, if I can execute something that I've never did and it still came out, that's what you should be looking at, you know? That has set the tone for the whole competition. Describe it. Uh, well, it's very gaming. Oh. It's the middle of the signature dish challenge. I have a nice dove breast bolognese. The pigeon. The pigeon. And Chef Ramsay is mystified by Matt's choice of protein. Never even made it before, but... Let's get this right. I'm your guinea pig. Oh. You have absolutely <laughs> the word bolognese. <laughs> One out of five. Thanks, Chef. After the Dove disaster, the women are hoping kitchen manager and mother of four Aziz back in Hell's Kitchen. Hi right, guys, let's go. The men get their marching orders from Maitre D. Marino. We have a truck outside with all my tables and all my chairs. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, this is a pain in the I can't believe we lost that first challenge. Guys, you lost because somebody invented the pigeon bolognese. <laughs> you know what? I could go for some Dove breast too. <laughs> I could go for a uh, Pigeon Big Mac. <laughs> Everybody's kind of rubbing it in, you know, and it's just like really pissed me off. I knew it was a risk. I'm not a dumbass. Like, I know what I was doing. Like, get it, the suck. Kitchen. Go! The men are still trying to get out their second order of appetizers. Scallops, where are they? Come right now, chef. No, 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 no. Can't do it no more, boy. Dude, do what you want then. I, he's calling for us. Basic stuff now. He tried to grab him. I can't serve nothing raw, chef. They're, they're, not, they're not raw. They're not raw. They're not raw. They're not raw. 90 seconds and they're done. Golden brown and delicious. It's not rocket science. Come on, guys, please. Yes, chef. Let's go. Walk those scallops. Right here. Scallops in my hand, chef. On your right. Oh, no. It's raw. Hey, come here. Who cooked these scallops? If I don't get a straight answer, I'm gonna kick you out. Go ahead, man, you sold them. Wow. He cooked them, I tried to push them on to sell them. So you cooked them? He told me to sell them, chef. I kept telling him no, you can look at the cameras in here. Cameras? Matt, wow. you gotta be out of your mind, bro. Come here, you, come here. I told him a hundred times, you. No. Hey, come here, you, come here. Chef, come on. Look at me, look, just look at me in the eyes. The camera. Yeah, I understand. Look at me. I'm minutes into opening night and Matt's mishap with the scallops. It's raw. Has Chef Ramsay looking for an explanation? You cooked them. You told me to sell them, Chef. I kept telling him no. You can look at the cameras in here. Cameras? Wow. Come here, you. Come here. Look at me. Look. Just look at me in the eyes. The camera. Unfold your arms now and don't give me a scallop unless it's cooked perfectly. Do you get it? Yeah, I understand. Look at me. And the attitude. Cook it or off. Yes, chef. And if I talk about a camera one more time, I'll stick a GoPro up so you can see how you are. Got it? Yes, chef. Idiots. Come on, guys. Come on. Let's go, my boy. Back in the red kitchen. On entree to see best to New York Strip. Her chef. The pressure is on Devin on meat. Six minutes, I'll have two New Yorks up. And Gennaro and Matt on fish to deliver on their first order of entrees. I got, I got to see Bass actually. Right. I'm here to see if I'm a great chef. It's to test my skills. I know who I am. I know I'm good. Where's the Bass? Right here, chef, in my hand. Let's just go. Sell it, sell it. Two New Yorks. Walking high, two New York strips, chef. Bass! Walking with the sea bass. Hot, coming through. It's raw. Who cooked the Bass? You two, come here. Gennaro, 
Matt, one cooked to and one's raw. It's the same table. Why? Come on, man. Who cooked it? Who cooked the bass? You got Dumb and Dumber standing there looking at each other like, oh, you tell them, I don't know, you tell them, I don't know, I don't know, you tell them. Answer the question. I would not have shipped that. So how did it get up here? I can't tell them, so I don't know who brought it up. Oh, my gosh. What are you doing here, Matt? Biggest douche ever. Who brought it up? I did, chef. Get it back in the pan. Yes, chef. He walks away. Hey, you and you, off out of here. Get out. Have you ever heard anything so stupid in all your life? Hey, the rest of you, come here. Yes, chef. One more mistake. I swear to God, I'm going to kick you out. Is that hurt? Yes, yes chef. chef. Let's go. Let's go. While the blue team attempts to regroup. Me. In the red kit. We need to cut the dead weight out of our kitchen. All right, everybody sit down. You got to nominate two. Every person you nominate. Pat. Put Polly up against Pat. OK. Devin, go. Uh, Polly and Pat. Look. Come on. The app station. That to me is not how you cook good food. Pat, you want to nominate people? Fish station. Gennaro, Matt. Based on that he threw the fish station out first, I'm not willing to lay down and just take this nomination because yeah. it was the fish station that really screwed us up. Gennaro, Polly, and, uh, and Pat. Polly, who do you nominate? I'm just saying myself, like that. I take responsibility for my actions. You know, I'm a grown man, and I didn't work up to par. I don't feel right about sending Polly to this block, man. I think we're cutting our legs out if we send Polly home. Polly is probably one of our strongest chefs here, and you know, he got stuck with Fat Pat. Paulie is such a good guy, and he has so much honor that he's willing to put himself on the board. I don't think Paulie should be going. He's too valuable to this team. Y'all want to get a smoke in before we have to go up and face him again? I don't know what this team is thinking. I don't know what this team is thinking right now. Are we all agreeing with Paulie and Pat going up there for nominations? Why aren't we putting that up? Matt, I'm sorry, but the fact that you got in his face and disrespected him. He told me to come him, here, though. He said, come yeah, here. Yeah, but no, but right you, here. you, like, you, you. No, he told me. That's what he You tried to, like, tough it out. I got military through. background. I just was talking to him, you know what I mean? Like, that's how they talk to you. You know, I'm going to be here. You're not going to get rid of me. I don't care if they're mad. They can be mad. Take your tampon out. Who comes to this competition and treats Gordon Ramsay like that? That is the god of cooking right there. And you, you get in his face like you're going to be in a fist fight with him? Matt is some disrespectful little punk. Oh. Ah! If we don't come together with two names as a team, then we're letting him down again. We thought we made a decision. Now everybody's rethinking their decision. Gentlemen, we're dividing right now. We just came together as a team with two names. We did not come together. We just failed. Step coming out of the gate. But bottom line, the fish station, I think, destroyed the whole service. Matt. Who cooked those scallops? It was kind of a mix of both of us. You and Gennaro? Yeah, Gennaro, yes, sir. There's no such thing as both of you cooking them. Yes, sir. Are you the weakest chef on the blue team? No, chef. Who is? It's him. It's Pat. I feel like Pat is one of the oldest ones, and he should be able to command the kitchen. You can't blame me for your execution. I did the best I could, you know, for the, being the first time. You know, I feel like I got... That's the best you could? Is that you? That's, not, that's not the best, chef. You screwed the fish. He fries risottos. My decision is... Matt. Get back in line. Pat. Give me a jacket. Get out of Hell's Kitchen. At the end of the day, I'm here for me. Honestly, man, I'm gunning for everybody now. I give two less about them. My plans step my game up so high that they can't even question putting me on the block no more. And Gennaro's poor performance on the meat station. Richie, come in. Come in. Is the final nail in the coffin for the blue team tonight. Ladies, take over. One of each section. Blue team, get out. Get out. 
we've conquered another dinner service. It feels great. Second time in a row, we're on a ball. Get out! I want to crawl up in a ball and cry. I'm done. I need two nominees. F off! I hate losing a second time thrown out. Yo, that's so embarrassing. Let's sit down at the table. Let's go outside. Yeah, let's go. I need a cigarette before I murder somebody. Damn, man. He's right. Hey, why are you all pissed off right now? I'll take the left. Uh, Matt, describe your dish, please. I have a grilled ostrich uh, with caramelized carrots and also made a Hawaiian pico de gallo. You have three things that are alone on the plate. It's like people living together but not talking to each other at the dinner table while the TV is on and sadness is on the menu. <laughs> <laughs> it's like three people sitting at a table. That don't even make no sense to me. It's irritated me. Not only is it irritating, it's embarrassing. Uh, Wendy, I'm crap lifted from my dining room, and you know how meticulous Marino is. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Get started now. Oh my God. Man, this whole competition. <sighs> the judges don't even know what the they're talking about. That's the problem. It pisses me off. I'm a force to be reckoned with inside of a kitchen. I don't want to sit here and listen to these guys degrading me and talking. Oh my God. It's just really starting to irk me. Here comes Captain Happy. Marino, how are you? Not good. Oh, I don't know what the hell happened here. It looks like a war. Uh, what is Matt? Where's Matt? Where the f is Matt? Did Matt leave? Are we all in agreement? We don't want Matt here anymore? Yes. We're a team. Do the punishment with us. Don't sit back and pout like a little boy. Be a man. Get Matt. Go back and get him. Celebrate their time in Big Bear. Matt, where the hell have you been? Matt's frustration and anger continue to build. I'm gonna pack my up and roll the out of here. Take the punishment like a man. That, yo. I'm not doing it. I don't give a I don't give a when nobody says, I'm not doing it, yo. You're bitching about everything. you. I'm not on that level. You know what I mean? You're not gonna sit here and degrade me every day and think I'm gonna sit here and listen to that. I'm not the point. Do you feel like you're too cool for this? Go the home. Go. Okay, go. You know what? Fine. I'm packing my and I'm out this Go! Matt, take the punishment like a man. That. You're not gonna sit here and degrade me every day and think I'm gonna sit here and listen to that. Go! Fine. I'm packing my and I'm out this While Matt is looking to make a clean break, the rest of the men. One more thing we love to do since we've been here. Well, we're getting really good at it. Are just still cleaning. Where you know? Uh, what is Matt? He said he's packing his stuff and leaving. He's leaving? That's what he told me, chef. Okay. Matt is not a team player. He's a coward. I wouldn't in his ear if he was on fire. Gordon wants to speak to you. Wanna come with me? Okay. He's going home. You know I'm right. He's right there. Wait, what are you, you're not really going, are you? I don't know why he doesn't have his bags with him. Get to the airport and get out of here. Come in. Hey, Matt. How you feeling? I gotta say, man, I just... You know, I don't feel like we're getting a fair shake at things. What happened? You know, I felt like some of the dishes, you know, what they were asking for is what they got. I brought in two experts today that were big successes with exotic meats. They're going to call it as they see it. If you feel that you can't compete and you feel that you aren't good enough to win this, I'm not going to force you to stay, buddy. I don't want to quit, Chef. I just got to know that I have a fair shake at things. This journey is about ups and downs. And you're going to go through some hard times, Fun times, sad times. And I think that's a little bit like life. Yes, sir. Now, whatever you want to get out of this competition, you have to stay focused on that. Yes, sir. Because the person standing in Vegas, that real. And I've got to find that right person. Yes, sir. Keep your head up. I will. Sorry. Chef Ramsey saved me from walking out. He's given me an opportunity to take my life to the next level. So I'm not going to quit because I'm not a dumbass. Can you vacuum the rest of it? Yo, yeah, man, that's so I'm sorry, man. No, you, that's, do come you on, man, what the How can you let us down like that? We're out here on our hands and knees? When you put two plates up that are I feel like you let us down, Whoa, too. stop. Right now, stop it. Matt, since day one, I knew I didn't like you. You should just be going up on the block. Put me on the block, bro. 
I can't wait to put you up on that block because everybody on this team listens to me, and I know that you're going home next. Are you part of our team or not? I'm part of your team, man. All right, well, then don't let us down like that. You got to stand up for us, too. Where are we? Polly on fish is ready with his refire. Hey, visually, how do they look sat next to a lobster? That's burnt. I'm trying desperately hard to make you look good. Yes, chef. Now I'm fed up! Yes, chef. I'm gonna do it. I am a head chef. I don't normally have to cook on the line. I'm a little out of practice. Why is he yelling at me? Take a deep breath, my boy. Take a deep breath, OK? Here, Paul, I got this pan on for you right now for the scouts. I'm not going to stand there and let another service go down because I didn't want to step in and help. Scallops! Hey, now, chef! chef. So, get rid of that grease. Leave them! Leave them! Yes, chef. Yes, chef. Service, please. See how easy it flows when we communicate, guys? Now that both teams have completed appetizers and moved on to entree on the meat station... I'm ready to go with the sandwich. Go! Go! Heard! Someone's there. Where's the chicken? 30 seconds, chef. Devin is running a bit behind with his chicken. Three minutes now. I've been waiting. And the salmon's there. I got one minute, chef. I can't serve it to you raw, chef. Come on, man. Take the help. It's more important that we finish this together, bro, than All you right, do it by yourself. Man. There's two of us over here. Let's not shush. Get over yourself. Get over yourself. Where's the chicken, guys? I got the chicken, man. Come on, Devin. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, Devin. Hey, chef. Devin. Well done. Service, please. It appears as though Devin's patience with his chicken has paid off. Next up, Matt and Ryan. Battle of the fried chicken. Ryan's take on southern fried chicken features creamy white cheddar grits and sautéed Swiss chard. The chicken that's cooked well and seasoned well, I thought your grits were fantastic. A lot of flavor, delicious. Matt has prepared cornflake crusted Cajun fried chicken with gravy and colored greens on the side. It kind of uh, reminds me of a diner. <laughs> Entire plate's under seasoned. There's no magic to it at all. You just get bored eating it. Your dish, though, Ryan, had a lot of flavor and clearly the winner. Hi, well done, Ryan. Thank you. Thank you. Good job. This pisses me off. You know, he compared my food to a diner. And let me tell you what, that was disrespectful. Obviously, this guy don't really know Southern food, didn't have a country accent, so I don't think he's even from the country. <laughs> Not even listening to it no more. The grits, uh, unfortunately, they haven't been processed. Oh, man. You're going to be grinding thousands of tiny pieces of corn into the grits. Time to get these to shine. Get it there, chef. I'm good with that. After that, you'll have to shell. After a night like tonight, I have to do something drastic. So both of you say goodbye to your teammates because you're going in the blue team. Matt, Andrew, get up and make way. Wendy and Shayna, sit down. Because you two are joining the red team. Get over there. And listen carefully. I'm hoping the change of environment will really help bring you back to your earlier performances. Yes, Chef. Now, off. Red team. Ha ha, you can have them. Glad they're gone. Matt is hot tempered. Andrew is loud and obnoxious. The lightning is gonna strike. It's gonna be a full moon during dinner service and that kitchen is going to blow the f up. I'm kind of shocked because I feel like I just gained the respect of all my guys, you know? Man. But I'm red team now, so there's nothing I can do about it. The broth are absolutely excellent. Very attractive looking as well. Thank you, Chef. With the final dish of the seafood round, Matt hopes his Fra Diavolo will earn the red team their first point. It looks a mess, and it shouldn't taste as good as it does, but it does taste good. Mm -hmm. This is the most surprising one by far. That's a tough one. For me, I'm going to come back to the restaurant and have this. Yeah. I feel we asked for adventurous and something yes. different, and yes. this definitely you know, he is... definitely delivered on that. Yeah. The top two here? Y yeah. We got the point either way, but I want people making my menu. We'll leave it to you. I am going to break the tie. The point goes to Kimberly. Oh, good job. Good job. Good job. We In the red kitchen, Matt on fish and Ryan on appetizers are doing their best to get the red kitchen off to a strong start. Two scallops, two risotto, urgently, yes? Yes, yes chef. chef. Two more scallops, two more risotto. 
Like, I bust my ass. Like, I'm not here to play. Walking with risottos. OK, hurry. Walking with two scouts. I want to prove myself to Chef Ramsay and my team. Hey, red team. Red team, urgently. Yes, yes, chef. What is going on here all of a sudden? What the is happening? I don't expect this on our eighth dinner service. Yes, chef. Yes, yes chef. chef. Hey, you don't need to re-examine them. Yes, chef. Stevie Wonder knows their Yes, chef. They're that bad. Matt, I know it's the first time working together, but if you keep screwing up, it's going to be the last. Get them going again, guys. While Matt works to deliver scallops that aren't burned beyond recognition, Polly's turn to test their palates. Easy. Come on. Airplane. <laughs> I'm on a full cover set of 34, red team. To Ludemer, to Lamb. Yes, right, chef. chef. Two minutes on to Ludemer. All right, I'm going to get ready to walk on garnish then, yeah? Very yes. Walk on garnish. All right. The red team is blowing at this point. Everything is just moving, and we are just pushing full steam ahead. Two Ludemer and two Lamb. So, it said one Lamb, though. Can you double check it's one Lamb or two Lamb? Andrew, check that. I got you. Give me one second. Let me get okay, the screen. I don't, I don't really have a set. Two Ludemer and two Lamb is the next check. I don't have another Lamb. That's what I was trying to say. What is he saying? What do you need? He, he only has one lamb. He doesn't have two. Two little man, two lamb, yes? Yes, yes chef. Yes, chef. chef one, one question. Go on. Hurry up. I'm going to rush that lamb on that next check. We're down a lamb. We're down a lamb. For that Why, next check. Come here, you. Yes, chef. Why are we down a lamb? Because you're doing garnish. I want to know from the chef, man cooking it. It was just heard one, one lamb, and that's so what I have. I have. No, chef. I have one lamb sitting up top of there. Next table, table two little man, two lamb. Her chef, and I'll have one out. So look at me. Yes, chef. You've only got one portion of lamb. Yes, chef. So. Did you forget it? No, chef, I did not. I just was told one lamb. Who calls the tickets out? You, chef. I called out two lamb. OK. Every time we open this kitchen, I ask you to put one lamb extra in front. Which I have. You have. So then you've got it then, two lamb. Chef, no, I have one lamb is what so I'm that telling that means you forgot the order? No, chef, I did not forget the order. I'm Sorry, let's I did cut not hear Okay. Look at me. Eight minutes. Eight minutes. Chef, Look yes. at me. I know it's easy for you, but it's not easy for me. Do you know why it's easy for you? Because you don't care. It's an hour into dinner service, and after an excellent start for both teams... Come here, you. Yes, chef. Why are we down a lamb? Chef Ramsay is trying to unravel the mystery of Matt's missing lamb. I called out... Two lamb. I have one lamb is what so I'm that telling. means you forgot the order. No, chef. I did not forget the order. I'm Sorry, telling you, I did not hear. Look at me. Just eight minutes. Eight minutes. Chef, Look yes. at me. I know it's easy for you, but it's not easy for me. Do you know why it's easy for you? Because you don't care. I do care, chef. OK, so if you forget, then man up and say, chef, I forgot to put oh, it chef, in. I forgot. Thank you. Okay. Hey, are you pissed off? No, chef. You're going to show me some more attitude? No, chef. I'm waiting. Two words and one bass, one lunar man. Two words and her. Five minutes to the window. Yes, chef. Her, chef. While Matt cools his head and fires another lamb, over in the blue kitchen, Jeff Ramsey has a question for Matt. How long then, two bass to Wellington? How long you got, Andrew? You can go two minutes to the window. I'll walk now on garnish. Two minutes to the window. Two minutes to the window. You go two minutes yep, to the window? Yep. All right, let's go. Two minutes to the window, chef. Chef Ramsey always puts me on the hardest spots because he don't want this thing to be easy for me, and I understand. It doesn't do nothing but make me better. He will not break me. Decide who's doing what. I, want seafood. Seafood. I, I come want seafood. from a seafood state, Maine, and I want to do seafood so bad right now. I want seafood. Let me do seafood. I never pick it. Just let it me have seafood. Bro. Why? She called seafood first. Just seafood is my thing. First, Honestly, I don't give a yeah. what my team thinks. I'll do beef. I'll take the pork. I was thinking about doing egg. An egg would be great. Ten seconds left. I don't cook with lamb. I don't okay. cook with chicken. Other chicken. That's fine. Matt, you better deliver. If you're gonna fight me over something like this, it better be perfect. Have you decided? Yes, yes. Sheep, cooking with seafood, lamb, beef, poultry, and pork. I would work at five-star restaurants. I'm going to switch it up and do something creative and new, and it's the way to revolutionize the slider. No one else is going to do that. They don't have enough balls, but I do. The Battle of the Seafood Slider, let's go. For today's slider challenge, the chefs will go head-to-head -head with the three guest judges voting on which slider they like the most. The chef with the most votes in each round wins a point for their team. Uh, Matt, describe your slider. I did a shrimp roll with a chipotle aioli. Is it a pate there, or is it like a shrimp cocktail? Uh, it'd be more like a lobster roll, uh, what I compare it to on the East Coast. Is that a slider? That is the slider to me. Uh, I think we're looking for something ground. I'm from the East Coast, um, so a lobster roll is a lobster roll. And then a slider is something completely... I didn't say it was a lobster roll, because it's made with shrimp, obviously. Is this a slider? To me, it is, Chef. To you, it's not. 
Are you kidding me? Calm down, Matt. Don't be a pit bull right now. These chefs know what they're talking about. Your slider is not a slider. If I asked you for a lobster roll, would you do me a slider? <laughs> no slider is. It's the first round of judging in today's Slider Challenge. And with an acclaimed panel of judges present, Chef Ramsey has a question for Matt. Is this a slider? To me, it is, Chef. To you, it's not. <laughs> I just, just what I want to know in your mind, because you're not going to convince these experts that that is a slider. I'm just in a different realm, and I like to do things differently. So this is just a part of me on a plate. Did your team know you were doing this? Yes, Chef. OK, so they agreed. Well, I mean, no one said anything differently. She's shaking her head. Being from Maine, I wanted to do seafood, and I could have done it better. Um, guys, help yourself. Adam, how's that for you? A little too spicy. The greens are kind of wilted and, and overdressed, big time. I agree. A little too much heat for me. What the f*** do they know? That's why they're running burger joints. Moving on. Uh, Paulie, describe. I took salmon and shrimp, put a little bit of cumin, a little sriracha in there. You did a really good job of letting the seafood be the star. Thank you, Chef. Yeah, tastes delicious. Judges, um, seafood slider. Um, is it Paulie from the blue team or Matt's sandwich from the red team? Thank you, Chef. I'm a chef for a reason, and I get paid bank, so whatever. Shades on and your chain on, you're, like, feeling it. Obviously, these girls want me. It's called game, baby. <laughs> Matt's trying to flirt, get his little pimp on. Twerk, 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 twerk something I probably could have gone without seeing. I'm hanging out and I'm chilling with all the girls in the grotto. I really just felt home. Thank you, <laughs> Ramsey starts off their night with a VIP ticket. Four different appetizers, one risotto, one scallop, one carbonara, one wedge. Yes, yes, chef. Chef. Up to this point, there's two people on apps, there's two people on garnish, there's two people on this, two people on that. We don't have that now. Matt, can you drop a lobster tail, please? Yep, one lobster tail. Hurt. Thank you. Kim, do you have a minute? Absolutely. Can you plate these? How many? Matt, yeah, can you make sure yeah. nothing's on my station? Everybody's worried about what they're doing. They're not trying to help me out. Kim's on the other side of the kitchen at apps. They already have two people over there. You know, how many people you need on the app station? You got a tail in there, Matt? I got a tail. Give me that carbonara. Nobody comes over and says, Matt, I see you got a lot going on right now. Let me cook this lobster tail for you. Let's go up. Walking. Walk. Risotto, how long? Right now, right chef. Now, chef. Right lobster. Now, chef. Lobster right there, chef. Matt, VIP, curly whirly, over. Hey, hey, young man, come here, you. Chef, I want to fix Look, it. Put it on, on a tray. It's rubbery and it's overcooked. I'll fix it right now. So, so give me a proper fresh lobster towel. My patience is running out. Did you get it? Yeah, I understand. So concentrate. OK, sir. OK. If you can survive this kitchen, you can cook in any kitchen. While Matt refires his lobster tail with a side of attitude, back in the... Where's the lobster? Chef, 20 seconds out on the lobster tail. Chef Reams is still waiting on Matt's refire for the chef's table's appetizers. Don't let your ego get in the way, Matt. Get done, get it cooked, get it right. I can say the same thing about dressing the salad. Stop! Everybody, stop. I don't care how we get to the end of the service, oh, we're but gonna we're get done. To it. We're going to get Victory to it. Right now, we're done. We are making total asses of ourselves. We have, like, famous people four feet from us that, like, are famous. Hey, Red Team, come here. I'm now regretting that I ordered the risotto. Oh, it's all your fault. It's all your fault. Calm down. Calm down. What is going on? It's like there's two people on one station. I got one person on guard and standing there doing nothing. You know, and everybody's looking at me like, Ask I... for help, Matt. It's not us against Why, you, though. There's two people on guard Because she needed help, help to... Stop, stop, me. stop, stop. Stop. Just ask Matt, me. Matt, listen, we have one common goal to hey, get through service. Red team, center. spend time now and not in front of our <laughs> chef's table and sort it out. Yes, chef. Last time. Yes, yes chef. Yes, chef. Hey, no one's trying to go. All of us will no, help let you. Let me say something, though. Let me say something. You guys always want to sit here and pan up with girls, OK? Let me tell you something. Listen, listen to me for one second. Oh, go, ahead, go ahead, go ahead. OK, because Come you, at me, no, because no. I it's you not, because food. listen, if you guys are on apps, why the hell are you not bouncing around helping me out? You know how many times I've done the, the power position? I go meat fist. No, so you're blaming fist, me because you're hey, is over Shut up!
It's 30 minutes into dinner service. And with the chef's table's appetizers dying in the window. Red team, sort it out. Yes, chef. Last time. Yes, yes chef. Listen to me for one second. Oh, go ahead, go ahead. Okay, because Come you... Out. No, no. Because I helped you on seafood. The chefs engage in a little unconstructive criticism. You guys are on apps. Why the hell are you not bouncing around helping me out? You know how many times I've done the, the power position? I go, meat, fish, no, meat, fish, No, you're blaming me because you're... Hey, shut up. Let's want. start again, guys. Let's start again. Let's do it again. Let's go and let's just get out. You don't want to go home and neither do I. Let's I do this. I don't really care at this point. Man, come on, bro. It's not about you. It's not about your pride. It's about the guests. That's it. Get over it. Start the table again. Do you want help? No, I'm fine now. I'm not no, sure. if you want help, I'm going to help you. That's no, okay. Talk I got to me. You. Honestly, I felt like I was on an island. At this point, I guess I got to just fight back and I got to do my thing. Where's the lobster? Right here in my hand, Chef. Risotto, Heidi. Is that a Chef? Oh, uh, I'm embarrassed. The hits keep on coming. Fish, I look up. There's four people on the other side. At some point, <laughs> someone should have moved from hot apps. You know, I need help. There was no communication. The fish was killing you with the garnish. You know, you I shouldn't have to communicate to the garnish when the garnish is standing right there and she's no, supposed to be all, leaving the table. No, 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 no. Stop blaming everybody else. Hey, put me up. Move put me up. It. I don't that give a you're blaming Sorry, I'm everybody. Up, I'm up. It's always everybody else's fault but man. Take responsibility for your actions. Man up. Maybe he's like 12 and like a 26-year-old's body. I don't know. I'm just saying, there's no reason why four but people are inside the kitchen any night of Blaming week. everybody else. Listen, I'm not what, if you shut your up for one minute and just oh. listen, Kim. You know, I'm not listen. listening. I don't listen. Yo, all you do is talk, is. yo. The garnish was up all there right, for you. Shut the up. Between both of you, I, I can't take it no more. I can't. I don't even care. Stop. Stop. Please stop. I'll talk to Chef Ramsey about it. That's totally what it is. Totally fine, ma'am. I don't feel like arguing with you. I really don't. You fooled me. You're an idiot. I don't I'm care. not an idiot. Hey, and can you just say who you're putting up, please? Y'all vote. Matt, we all have to vote. But I'm sitting here watching her while she's over on your station trying to help you guys. Some of you dare throw that at me. You've had two you people. shut the up? Hey. on your side doing your the whole time. Stop. Hold your Stop. hand. Stop. Hold your Stop. hand through this whole competition. Yeah, sure. Get the Stop. out of here. Sure. Great chef. Uh, I do have a great palate. I'm hardworking. I can be a leader, chef. I just need good communication with the people I'm working with. Matt, fragmented service, uh, arguing in front of our chef tables, embarrassing the whole team, and literally screaming. Why is that? You know, tonight I had a bad service. You know, everybody makes mistakes. You know, I'm a hard worker. I got good verbal skills, good communication. I do everything I can for a team. Heidi, what's going on? Matt has an attitude. Everybody just doesn't want to talk to him because he's all pissed off. I just, it's hard for me to work with incompetence. Tough night and a tough decision. The person leaving Hell's Kitchen is... I'm not done yet. Kimberly and Wendy. Back in line. Matt, step forward and give me your jacket. I want you to listen to me. When things went badly tonight, the first thing you did was point fingers at everybody else. And you've got to understand that the only person to point at is you. Good luck. Chef Ramsey is a Like, I have one bad night service and everything else I do flawlessly. And then I go home when everybody else up every night. The whole time I've been here, it's been nothing but disrespect. If I was on the street right now and he came up to me with that same I him up point blank. I'm not going to tolerate a service like that ever again.